One of my favorite aspects of the book is the cover photo, and it, it depicts President Kennedy and his mother at a 1962 dinner. This was the first international award ceremony for research into mental retardation. The Kennedys, of course, were very interested in this because Rose Kennedy's first daughter, Rosemary, born in 1918, was diagnosed with mental retardation, and the president began working on that policy along with his sister, Eunice Kennedy Shriver. Mrs. Kennedy, Rose Kennedy, also went out and raised millions of dollars for this kind of research. But what's so intriguing about the photo is that it's perfect of Rose because she's slightly hidden behind her glove. She's saying something very earnestly to the president and he has a bit of a look of perhaps boredom on his face. And so we're, we're always concerned about what was it that Rose was actually saying. In addition to that, just in front of them is a goblet. At first I was distracted by it, but then I noticed that it was exactly at the halfway mark in terms of its being filled with water. And this in some ways summarizes Rose's life. Uh, most of the time in her life, the glass was half full. She was an optimist. But on those occasions when tragedy would overtake her, the glass would be half empty when she lost so many of her children to tragedy.